Hey folks, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I apologize for that. Today's gonna be Beretta Day in my backyard. So I'm gonna do four videos, so they're not too long. These aren't reviews, they're just gonna be overviews like I normally do. So thanks for hanging in there. First, Beretta 92G Wilson Combat Brigadier Tactical. Has a Brigadier slide, so it's fattened up right here with the hump. Nine millimeter, of course. This one has the thin black cherry grips on it. It's a 15 plus one, double single. Comes out of the factory from Wilson with some trigger work on it. Pretty, pretty freaking smooth, single and double action. It's actually a lot better than most of my revolvers. Oh, there's a the deer. We can see him up there. Ah, he can't. Sorry. Anyhow, uh, this one's wearing a Olight PL2 Valkyrie. It's non-rechargeable. Pretty damn bright. This one spends most of its time in my bedside uh, gun safe there. You kind of hit a point with guns like this where they're I'll carry it, but they're just almost on the verge of, you know, you don't want to scratch it, you, you don't want to wear the finish off. And that's not with all of them. It's just, this is one of the nicer examples of a handgun I have. So, I don't know, I'm still going to carry it and stuff, but every little nick, you're like, oh man, dang it. But it's still a tool after all. Anyhow, pros and cons real quick. Comes with really nice front night sight on it it's nice and bright you can really pick up the front sight in the dark back sights are just blacked out if I can get them there there you go uh, feels good in the hand the uh, checkering's well done back here and it's got both directions on the front strap too so it really locks into your hand nicely uh, the G model is decocker only which is what I prefer. I don't like having to worry about a safety. Things get sporty. Um, yeah, shoots real nice. Uh, recoils minimal. Likes to stay on target. I've heard about the dive that the Brigadiers have when you're shooting them. I haven't really picked up on it. I guess if you're hypersensitive, you, maybe not hypersensitive, maybe if you just, I don't know. It, I haven't noticed it. It tracks pretty straight when I'm shooting it. Um, the barrel on the muzzle there is crowned. It's got a target crown. Slight drawback. If you're into that sort of thing, it's not chrome lined. It's a stainless barrel that's been blackened out of the factory. It actually says stainless right on it. Um, and it's not the five inch barrel. I think they cut these down to 4.7, make them a little more flush with the front of the pistol. Everything else, I love about it. I like the weight, I like the heft. It's a little bit heavy in the hand. The Brigadiers usually are. But it just really locks in nice. I mean, really nice. So I like it a lot. It's a very nice gun. But I like Berettas, if they're not your flavor, you know. No matter how nice of a gun it is, you might not like it just because you might be used to the Glock rake. And this sure doesn't have it. What else? Comes with the, uh, right out of Wilson, with a made guide in the back. Comes with two, three actually, 15 rounders. These are coated something makes it more reliable I forgot the word for it I'm sorry I'll have to apologize worked all night what else super nice trigger the Wilson combat versions like this have all the metal parts trigger decocker everything's metal on these there's no plastic whatsoever so if you're into that sort of thing take a look at them they're hard to find in the store I know I couldn't find one locally at all I had to order this and hope for the best 
it actually came pretty good. I don't have any complaints. Only thing that I did notice when I got it was this left side grip panel wasn't all the way secure. It was riding up on the hammer pin. So I just straightened it out, flattened it, pushed it back down. I didn't need any mechanical work at all. I just had to tighten it up a little bit. Other than that, it's been great. Shoots good. It's very accurate. More accurate than I am. And yeah, typical Wilson Combat Beretta. Seems like that rail's riding on glass on top. So yeah, that's about it. I'll give a quick uh, peeky poo, just in more detail on this thing. Any gunk you see up there is just grease. I'm having it sit, got some dust in it. Let's see if I can get the focus. It's actually a Trigicon front dot on there. One thing I did notice when I got this thing is right here where the frame meets the slide. You got a little extra frame sticking out. I didn't know if that was normal or if I had a shitty example. So I did a lot of searching. It turns out a lot of them are like that. I don't really consider it a detraction. It just is what it is. Uh, yeah, that's it. Any questions, uh, message the video. I tend to respond quickly to those messages. That's all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.